Chelsea DeVore. Hey, Chelsea, how are you? Hi, how are you? Good to talk to you. I can actually see Chelsea on Zoom now. The last time we talked to her, somebody's phone cut out, but it was pretty cool. And so she's on the show because we were talking Woo-hoo! about... Sorry, I was trying to contain myself. Go ahead. What? I was excited. I was, I was trying to... I thought you were going to bring me in right there, but sorry. Go ahead. Uh, do you have a question? Nope, no questions right now. <laughs> you don't have any questions? Not about? right now. Okay. I'll, I'll let you do some talking, and then I'll chime in. Okay. Um, Chelsea, thank you for coming on the show and being very patient with us. Is it often that you have super fans that you have to figure out, are they weird or are they just passionate? No. I feel like it's just passionate. Yeah, just, They're not weird. You don't think anything about Lunchbox is bizarre at all? No. Is it is it normal <laughs> that like a guy in his 40s is obsessed with you? Okay, actually though, like we'll be at the store and we've had like big biker guys come up to us and be like, I loved you on Teen Mom, so. But that's okay. I loved you on Teen Mom, or a big fan of how you presented yourself or how you what you did is yeah. different than this guy screaming whenever you, every single time you call in or you're on Zoom. Like that feels, would you have a, a dinner with this guy, you and your husband with this guy in real life? Probably not, right? He's a little too much. I would be so down. First of all, he's always yelling. So I feel like that's just how he talks. <laughs> This is a true statement. Okay. I think I could have dinner with her and her husband, no problem. <laughs> but you don't think you would you don't think you would react in a weird way? I might react in a weird way, but that's part of it. Like that's part of being in the spotlight and being on TV is people are excited. It's someone that you like you said, I like the way she represented herself on TV, so I can appreciate wh- how she has handled everything. So, Chelsea, will you tell me about your store that you're talking about? Because do you work in the store? Are you actually in there sometimes? No chance. So it's not open yet. We're opening a store, but Got it. I'm definitely going to be there, yeah. So the, the show you, – wait, you're going to be working in the store sometimes? Oh, 100%. No way. I mean, yeah, when we're not filming or anything, I will 100% be there. And what's this store about? Okay, so it's just going to be home decor and, like, furniture, accents – all the the home things. Do you have any questions about that lunchbox? I, I'm just excited about it. And if we ever do get uh, into redoing our house, you know, we know where to go shopping. That's right. At the store? Yeah, I, I forgot the exit. I, I had it up here, but I forgot <laughs> what highway and exit it is, but I don't have it right at this time. And so do you know about her TV show? Uh, yeah, it's on HGTV. I have not watched it. <laughs> but, hey, I'm being honest. Mm. <laughs> I, I Listen. What's it called? Uh, it's called... <laughs> I don't He's know. He's Googling. It's called Down Home Fab. I, I was going to say Down Home DeBoer, but I didn't. Yeah. I wasn't sure. Was it weird to change your last name whenever you were already famous for your original last name? It it felt weird a little bit. And I still have like some of my handles, like Instagram are still Chelsea Huska. But because I feel like a lot of people know me by that last name. Lunchbox, you have a question for her? Oh, man, <laughs> this is so hard. I have so many questions. Go ahead, ask I one. I mean, but it's going to take an hour for me to ask all these questions. Go ahead, ask one. Okay, so when you get pregnant at 16 years old, what makes you think, you know what, I'm going to go on MTV? Okay, good question. Good question. Well, I was pregnant when they first aired the first season of 16 and Pregnant. So I had seen that they were doing a TV show, and I think there was a commercial – or something saying that they were casting. I don't really remember. And I just emailed them. And I actually just found the email that I sent them, like the original one, like two weeks ago. So that was weird to read again. But I think I just thought, what the heck, I'm going to email them. And then it just spiraled. I'm just thinking if I'm 16 and I am pregnant, my parents (laughs) are going Mm -hmm. to be like, I'm not sure it's a good idea you go on MTV and do a TV show. (laughs) <laughs> no, I feel like that's a valid, yeah, a valid concern. Do you have a follow up? No, I, I, I can't have a follow up. Okay, well, I hear you then. Yeah. Hey, so <laughs> whenever you said lunchbox, did we just become best friends? Was that a Step Brothers reference? Of course. Okay, I, we, oh, okay, I said the good. same oh, thing. Yeah. Thank goodness. I said the same oh. thing, and then we kind of, I was like, just say back in the movie, and they're like, no, sh- maybe she just said that randomly. But you are confirming that was a, from Step Brothers. That is confirmed. Okay. We were stressing out about the reply. Like, how do I reply? Do I reply this way? Do I reply that way? Don't want to freak <laughs> her out because Bobby thinks I freak you out because I'm a little over the top and I'm crazy. And I met Macy one time and I waited in line at her book signing. And so, yeah, I'm glad to hear this from Step Brothers. Did, did you see Lunchbox's reply? And if so, do you remember it? 
Yeah, he said, do you want to do karate in the garage? And I said, yep. Oh, that's cool. Of course she saw it. Amy, are you kidding? She replied. No, she didn't reply. Did she reply to that? Yes, yeah, she said, yep. Oh. <laughs> oh okay, Lunchbox, you have another question? I, I, I do. So <laughs> how, like... From when you started, like on Teen Mom or 16 and Pregnant, you get paid probably 500 bucks or whatever. They film your whole hometown. It's kind of crazy. Do, do you become super famous immediately in your town and then it goes national and then you start making a lot of money? How did it work? Okay. So I feel like I wasn't ever like super famous in my town. We live in South Dakota. Our biggest city is still pretty small. And I feel like nobody really, everyone just minds their own business here. Like nobody gets too excited seeing us out and about. Um, but the second part of your question was money. Yeah. Like it started, like, like how, okay. like did it start out? On it, like, yeah. Without getting too far into it, just the more seasons that you're on, you know, as the show was getting more popular and you're getting like first season, it's a lower amount. And then the longer you're there, the higher it goes. Yeah, I, I get that. So she could sit there and retire right now is how much it got to, guys. Like, she, like, they were making it. No, that's not accurate. You don't think that's accurate? Question three. No, 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 I stopped. I no, stopped. that's it. Hey, so let me ask you a question here because we, we we have Lunchbox on a, a question counter because we know he'll just to take this for two, okay. for two hours here. Yes, that's why I'm trying to be, like, uh, just. Hey, so here's the question. Yeah, his oh, mic no. got turned his off. His mic's off. <laughs> I, I didn't even finish my you're, question. Now you're scaring her. Uh, Chelsea. Yes. Do you get annoyed or is it uncomfortable for you that people want to talk about you at 16 when you've done so much as an adult as well? I feel like it's weird because in normal life, a lot of people don't have to, you know, go back and talk about themselves as a teenager that much. But I can see like the interest there. And I feel like that's when a lot of people like met me and started following my story. So I get it. But it is weird to have to like think back because even I don't even think back to when I was a teenager that much. But I totally get the interest there. Okay, see, here's that was going to be my hey. third question. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Can I, can I? Nope. No, no, no. So, hey, Chelsea, another thing was your husband. How does he? How does he like the, the <laughs> spotlight? The, it, was he? Is he cool with it? Was it a develop developing thing for him to have to figure right. out? So he is very soft spoken, and he was very shy when I met him. So. It took a while to get him used to it and get him into it, but I mean, he's fine with it, but he's still not as comfortable as I am, I don't think. Well, we're super pumped that you we finally were able to see you because and Lunchbox loves you, and I think you're pretty cool now because I've been able to read about you a little bit. I think you're like totally cool. I just didn't know what to expect, but like she's a grinder. She works hard. She's yep. built this company, this TV show, So um, and she has a ton of Instagram followers, which is awesome. I'd like to have some of those. So, <laughs> Chelsea, thank you. Uh, uh, what's up? Wait. What? I never even finished my third question. I cut it off before I could finish it So, because I had my okay, third go. question was, what do you credit being able to keep your life on track and, like, progress to where you are now? Because, you know, a lot of them went off the rails, and she mm -hmm. kept a stable head on herself and did so much more with her life. I feel like... I feel like I am fortunate. I have always had a very supportive family. Yeah, your and dad, had, Randy. You know, woo, woo, woo. He's awesome. My, both of my parents are And her really mom's great. awesome, and too. But they didn't Let her answer the question. Oh, sorry, Let her sorry. answer the question. She's Let her answer the question. Sorry. Oh, my God. Sorry, Chelsea. No, you're fine. Some of the same friends from, like, even high school, I just have always had a very, like, supportive group, and I know that I'm fortunate in that. And also, I feel like having a kid young, I wanted to prove people wrong. You know, I feel like maybe they think that I'm not going to be successful. And so I think I just carried that wanting to prove people wrong on throughout as I grew up. Aubrey says the lifestyle and home decor brand founded by Chelsea. Down Fab is the show. The season two premiere is set for early 2024. Whenever you guys get ready to premiere that, just let us know. We'd love to have you on to promo that. And then yes, I agree. And then down home. What's up? I'd agree. We should have her back on. I'm just saying, and I I just want to say, I, I just. Oh boy. Okay. His, Your mic's off, dude. His mic's off. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay. Chelsea, thank you. When the show is ready to come back, please let us know. Thank you for putting up with us. I know it's it's been a lot. You're awesome, and thank I love you. I love South Dakota, 
And I think that's super cool. And that you came on. So that's it. Everybody say bye to Chelsea. Bye, bye Chelsea. Chelsea. Bye, Chelsea. Bye, Chelsea. Bye, you guys, Chelsea. thank you. Bye. She's going to think that was the worst interview ever, guys. No, well, you're out I mean, of control. You just need to calm down. You have to calm down. down. <laughs> just calm down. But I was trying to. Calm, no, you have to calm, calm down. down. It's, it's about